Hello, thank you for joining me. So let's go over some of the other options we've got to Autotris before we move on to the actual car model. If I were to right click on uh, my line here and go ahead and delete that, the way I could do that is go ahead and select chain, select everything that's connected to that and just press delete. And I'll take this line and delete that too so we're back to the basic sketch geometry that we started with. And uh, let's go back to Autotrace. Uh, let's bring our sketch picture back into play here. And uh, let's go ahead and rebuild that. Right click on the sketch picture which is embedded into the sketch itself. Go to Edit Sketch. And let's go ahead and re uh, rebuild that. Sorry about that. Unsurprised is what we want. So now we got our picture back. And what we did in the previous film is we took that picture and talked about uh, how we made uh, modifications to it in GIMP. What we did is we took the, the snowy uh, background out of that and actually made it white. We just made a white trace around that and then, then filled in all the all the areas behind that. This allows uh, SolidWorks with the Auto Trace option to be able to uh, you know, recognize that a little bit better. If we double click in the picture and then go to the blue arrow up here, and then we have the ability to go back into Auto Trace. If we did a rectangular Auto Trace, we could do a freehand area where we can just draw around and select an area that we want to do an auto trace on go to begin uh, trace and what that does is it puts the outline uh, back here plus it also gives us the boundary of that uh, freehand sketch that we did so I mean it may not be exactly what we're looking for but uh, we can continue to add to that use uh, the polygonal area so we can uh, like draw out a polygonal area here and we get close to the end of that. You don't necessarily have to join the lines. If you just double click, it will automatically close. Again, go to begin trace, and uh, it does a, a whole new area here. If you do like the area that you've already done, then what you could do is go to apply and turns it into a green line. Go back to the polygonal uh, choice over here, and do that, and go to begin trace, and it adds new elements to it. So we could do that along the, the object, uh, there might be an advantage to doing something like that where you can select a small area and actually do the auto trace around that area. You could add to it or uh, do a, you know, add, uh, add these different elements as uh, in substitution of what was there before. And you could also do uh, a select color to do some auto tracing. So let's go ahead and go to the green check mark, uh, go back to our sketch, and delete some of the sketch elements that we just drew. And then double click on the sketch itself, takes us back into the auto trace of that blue arrow, and uh, bring our picture back by clicking on it and then zooming in and out. Let's go to this option, and we're going to use this to select the color. And we're going to use white as a color here, and then we're going to be begin trace. So as that color is consistent in the background, it's going to put a line between that color and whatever other color it runs into. Begin trace. And it's very similar to the rectangular trace that we had before. If we do like that, we can apply that. Green check mark takes it back into the sketch. We can go to sketch picture once we uh, get out of that. Let's go ahead and rebuild that and go to sketch picture and suppress that. And then let's go back into the sketch and make some modifications to it. So it looks like our round tires have actually moved a little bit, maybe not moved. We'll do about go back to Control Z. It looks like the only thing we need to change is put the dimension back in. So let's go ahead and do that. So those are black. And we don't necessarily want everything else black. We don't have to like super define this. And these are just simple splines as opposed to some of the splines that we can dimension. So it's going to be kind of hard to fully define this. Let's go ahead and leave this uh, kind of loose right now so we can make uh, modifications to it. And just uh, clean up our drawing, just our sketch, just like we did before. Take out some of the elements we don't need, especially uh, that round element that uh, defines the tire. Take out some of these sketch elements here on top that are part of uh, some blemishes that were in a sketch. But you do want to make sure you have enclosed geometry. I accidentally uh, erased a portion of the, of the antenna on top of the car, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, enclose that geometry back again. And now we're in pretty good shape. So I think that's enough for this film. What I'd like to do in the next film is show you how I put the car together, and that should take uh, care of all three uh, videos I'm going to be putting together in regard to using the sketch picture. So join me for that video.